This is Daydream Home. It comes with every Daydream Ready phone, and it's the first thing that people will see when they enter their Daydream VR experience. And for VR, crafting the right environment is so important for facilitating presence. So for Daydream Home, we really wanted to create a welcoming space that had a bit of wonder and delight inside of it, and it was somewhere that you'd want to stop and hang out for a bit before that you embarked on your next experience. Daydream Home is also your experience launcher. This is where you can see and launch your favorite apps, access Play Store to get new content, and also access system settings. But Daydream Home isn't just a list of apps. So up here on the top row, these are discovery windows. And discovery windows are where we're going to pr promote and curate the very best content that you create. Discovery windows we've designed with a sense of depth and parallax, so you can really get a sense of peeking into a new 3D world. You can step up to a discovery window and peer in and really get a sense for the world that it will teleport you to. And using Android Deep Links, you can add intent filters to these discovery windows, and they will take users to directly to content inside of your apps. And the importance of this is it means that if you add a new episode or a level to your game, it means that you can promote it or them, and you don't actually have to have a new app. Um, the users can already have the app installed on their phone. Next, let's take a look at Play Store in VR. Play Store will connect people to all of your apps. And since this is Play Store, it means we're starting with a large developer community, all of you out here. And it also means that we have a global payments and distribution infrastructure that will support things like in-app purchases from day one. We designed Store to make it easy to browse for apps and games in VR by showcasing collections of curated content, as well as making it easy to navigate by swiping through the content with the Daydream controller. Now I'm going to dive into the Google Street View app in Play Store VR and take a more detailed look. Here we've added VR-specific features to help you promote your apps, such as 360 photosphere previews that you can preview all around you instead of just flat, static screenshots. And in VR, even with the most exciting games, it's really important to make sure we're designing comfortable experiences. So we've added a motion intensity rating to help people find content that's right for them. And let's be realistic here. And let's be realistic here. No matter how awesome VR is, we're still going to spend most of our time in the real world. So for the times that you're away from your Daydream, mobile, your Daydream viewer, our Daydream mobile app will make it really easy to discover and queue up content to try out later. So when you're on the go and you have some time to browse, but you don't have your viewer on hand, you can queue up VR videos to watch later. Or if you're at a friend's house and you hear about an incredible new VR game, you can download the app right there from your mobile phone, and the game will be there waiting for you next time you return to Daydream home. Yesterday, we mentioned that a VR version of YouTube is coming. So now let's take a look. With stereoscopic VR video, 360 live streaming, and spatial audio, we've built an awesome foundation for truly immersive video with YouTube. You can step inside a video and have it all around you, and you can really feel like you're there, including hanging out with great white sharks, which in VR is actually pretty scary. YouTube is also a huge part of discovery for VR. I think many of us and many people have had their first experience with virtual reality here in YouTube. So we've been working with our friends at YouTube to bring this all together in a standalone VR app. I'm sharing this with you because we think YouTube is going to be one of the best ways for you to reach users and show off your apps. A lot of us are already using YouTube to share development tips and tricks. Now, with the VR video creation tools that the YouTube team is hard at work on, it will also be an incredible way for you to connect with your audience and build a community. So you'll be able to upload 360 video, trailers, gameplay, basically everything that you'd want to get people really excited about the content that you're going to create. So we've designed the Daydream experience around helping people connect to your content and continue to re-engage with it over time. But more than anything, what we're really excited about is seeing what you are all going to create. And we know that there are thousands of undiscovered things left to explore in VR. So to help whatever we learn from performance optimizations to user experience, we want to share that with you.
So today, we're excited to introduce Daydream Labs. Daydream Labs is where we're going to experiment and share what we learn with the world. We're hard at work right here in Mountain View, and we're exploring everything from usability to hardware to new user experiences for virtual reality. And as part of this effort, we're rapid prototyping to explore what makes VR useful, fun, and also sometimes bad. So, so far, we've been building about two app experiments a week for a while. And today, we're going to start sharing these lessons with everyone. We'll give you access. First, we're going to start by giving you access to our Daydream Design Playground to get you started for de developing for the Daydream Controller. We'll give you access to all the different types of experiences that we've created so far. And from flipping pancakes to playing tennis, we have about 15 different ways to interact with the controller that we've thought of so far. We're also giving another talk this morning on lessons learned from Daydream Labs. This is focused uh, on our rapid prototyping initiative. And we're going to start sharing all of this regularly on the Google VR blog. We're so excited to join the conversation, and we can't wait to see what everyone builds. I'd now like to hand this back to Clay. Thank you.